Hi, this is Kenyon with Little Giant Ladder Systems. Today we're gonna demo the Revolution. Revolution has two things to make the ladder operate. The hinge creates the shape of the ladder. The rock locks create the height or the length of the ladder. To unlock the hinge, we simply squeeze these hinge locks in. I use the tip of my fingers on the inside of the plates just to give me a little bit more leverage. And you'll notice that that hinge comes all the way in and unlocks. When I open the ladder up, the hinge is designed to lock, but it is your responsibility to make sure that they're fully seated, completely locked. The hinge will lock here in the A-frame position. It will lock again in the extension ladder position. To make the ladder taller, in either one of those positions, we're going to unlock the rock lock. Just push this down closer to the bottom, squeeze those in to relock you'll squeeze in the top of the rock lock. Notice that that's why we call it the rock lock. Bottom and the top. That's it, rock it out of the way, lean the ladder, and then that leg should slide down to any one of these holes. These correlate obviously with the rung on the intersection of the ladder, and once you find the height or the length that you desire, then lock that rock lock back into place. We'll do the same thing over here on this side. Squeeze in the bottom of the rock lock to unlock, hand over hand, bring it to the height that you desire, and then relock. Always make sure that both the rock lock and the hinge are completely locked and fully seated. Of course, there is gonna be a little bit of tolerance here in between the inner section and the outer section and inside the hinge to overcome that tolerance. Just pull the ladder towards you, just a couple of inches should do it, and that tightens everything up. Now the ladder is designed for two people at the same time. Because it's double-sided, it carries that Type 1A rating. That's 300 pounds on each side at the same time. To use the ladder in what we call the 90 degree position, I'll bring it down just one rung. And now in this situation, I would climb up the opposite side and it would bring me just about square, which allows me to face my work like I should, but it also eliminates any unnecessary overreaching. To use the ladder on a hillside or a staircase, remember that we have one foot intervals on this side that are completely independent from the one foot intervals on this side. Find the combination that's going to be right for your job. To make it into an extension ladder, we'll bring it down to its stored position, unlock the hinge one more time, and turn it into the extension ladder. Of course, always make sure that the hinge is fully seated. Then we're going to lay the ladder down on either the ground or the floor and extend the legs to be the length that you need for the job. We do that on both sides. And then turn the ladder over 180 degrees so that you're facing the rungs. This is where it's a good idea to put the bottom of your extension ladder against a foundation or a wall that you're leaning the ladder against and hand over hand, bring it up to its vertical position. Here's a reminder, when you're using the ladder as an extension ladder, always make sure to use that 75 degree angle or that four to one ratio. That means for every four feet the ladder's vertical, it should be one foot away at the bottom, and that will achieve the 75 degree angle that OSHA and ANSI suggest. A reminder also that the wheels should be at the top of your extension ladder. Those are simply for transportation when the ladder's in its stored position. We'll talk about those wheels in just a second. To bring the ladder down, we'll just reverse the process, hand over hand. To transport the ladder, simply use your shoulder, reach through the ladder, with your dominant hand on the other side, lift with your legs, not your back. Now you're ready to go to your next job. If you're gonna use the wheels, just tip the ladder back. You're able to wheel the ladder to your next job. If your Revolution ladder came equipped with ratchet levelers, we wanna demonstrate those. We're gonna use this brick to simulate unlevel ground. Now it could be a little bit like this brick or it could be a lot. You wouldn't wanna use any ladder on unlevel ground. Just wouldn't be safe. So having a ratchet leveler, 
You can depress with your foot or your hand right here on this metal tab. Now the ladder's strong, safe, and stable, even on unlevel surfaces. Now you can adjust that leg a little bit, or you can adjust it a lot. Eight and a half inches of versatility over here on the right, and you have eight and a half more over here on the left. To bring that leg back up into its storage position, take the D-ring, pull it perpendicular to the leg, and that'll bring that leg back up into its storage position. A couple of quick reminders, always choose the right ladder for the job, set it up correctly, and maintain three points of contact when you're climbing up and down your ladder. This is the revolution by Little Giant Ladder Systems.